Hi everyone, in this video I will try to quickly uh, show you how we built Emily, our uh, AI blogger, uh, using simple uh, automations on Make, Airtable and uh, GPT-4. So as you can see here in Airtable, I have several uh, topics and several blog posts actually that have been already generated. Some of them have been just generated, some of them have been published, some of them are approved. So if we go here, this one has not been generated yet. I already have an idea of blog post, which is about sales pipeline management. How can we automate that? Okay. So let's see how it goes when we ask uh, GPT-4 to generate it. So all these statuses are triggers that uh, will um, trigger a make scenario that will call uh, GPT-4 API that will write the blog post for us. So let's see how it goes. I can check if the automation runs successfully. I see it's in progress. So this runs a script that calls a uh, make scenario. So it runs successfully. So now if we go on make, I can see now the automation that is running. So it, it takes a few minutes. So we speed up the video and wait for the automation to finish. Okay, cool. So the automation runs successfully. So here it is. So what happened here? Uh, it activated the branch to generate the blog uh, content, create the title, generate the SEO summary, the images, and send all this information to Airtable. I have other branches here for edit, to regenerate the images if I don't like them, or also to generate an idea. So if we go back uh, to Airtable, we see that our blog post has been generated. We have the images. I actually like this one more, so I will put it first. So it would be the one that is going to be pushed. And here as well, I have the title and our blog post. So let's see how it looks. Okay, of course you can read it. I have Salesforce, HubSpot. Yeah, it gives me some, uh, some common tools. A fact and a conclusion. Okay, when you're happy with it, okay, so you can approve it. And then you can schedule the day it's gonna be pushed uh, on Webflow, on your website. In our case, it's Webflow. So today's the 29th, so I will schedule it for today. So you see it's automatically set to scheduled and it's gonna be automatically um, changed to publish, as you can see. Why this? Because it, this actually triggered another automation that is a send info to make and Webflow. And I have another Webflow, uh, sorry, make scenario here that is um, push to Webflow. And you can see here I have the successful scenario that pushed me all the information from your table to Webflow and printed uh, the Webflow ID on Airtable. Okay, so now if I go on Airtable, I will see that I have also uh, the Webflow ID here. Okay, so now if we go on Webflow here, I can uh, refresh the page. It's here, edit site. Okay, if I go to my collection AI blog post, I see that my new, newly written blog post is here as a draft. So I can click on it, I can check that everything is fine. So don't worry about these uh, white blanks, actually it's gonna be published uh, once it's uh, live. So we can decide to schedule it for uh, doing it here and it's gonna be published today. Today to show you all the process, I will publish it now. So we click on publish and this trigger our third and last uh, automation on make that publishes my blog post uh, on, uh, on, web on Webflow, but also uh, writes a LinkedIn post to notify um, uh, my followers that our new blog post has been published. This post, LinkedIn post, is written as well by GPT-4. Uh, so then I post it on LinkedIn and I also notify David and me on Slack so that we can check that everything went fine. So if I go here, I should see exactly the successful uh, scenario. If I go on Slack, I have here the link uh, to Soraya. Here I have. Hey, sales pros, looking to level up your sales game. So this is the post that GPT-4 just wrote for me and published my uh, blog post. So if I click on uh, the blog on the link, I go to the newly generated blog post. I see it's April 29th. And as you can see, I have all the information that was there in uh, Airtable. So thank you very much. If you like this video, I uh, already created a how to guide uh, um, use case, it's me who wrote it, not Emily, even though Emily helped me a little bit. And um, 
So you can check that out. It's a simplified version. So if you have never worked with Make, you can use that uh, to start out. And let me know instead if you want to have a full guide on how to set uh, all these automations, uh, like the triggers on uh, Airtable and uh, all the details on the three Make scenarios. So thank you for watching and uh, let me know uh, if you want to deep dive on the subject. Thanks a lot.